You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Sure, you're in great shape. But I'm fine. You're caving in. Now, why don't you sit down before you fall down? His legs hurt. How bad? Well, they won't be carrying you for a while. That meadow we came through a ways back, uh, I saw a cabin. I'll take you there. Uh, played a cruel trick on my brave young friend here. His uh, horse took a fall and went lame. He's got a couple of busted ribs. That's so. Yeah, a roof and bed would... Uh, would be most appreciated. He, he does look in a bad way. I only need a couple hours of rest, ma'am. This is my wife, Beth. Howdy. A tenor is my this is Nick Barkley. Maybe we should ask him in, Tom. See what you can do for him. Mistakes, of course. Yeah. Well, now, I, uh, I, I think I'll call. Straight. Yes, let's see. Now, you have a, have a straight, and I have all hearts. Oh, let me think. Um, that's right. Um, a flush beats a straight, doesn't it? I gotta get some money out back. Here. Ah. Try a little of this, Mr. Barclay. What, 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 is, what is it? It's a special broth I fixed for oh. you. No, it's very good, thank you. Well, you're a generous and sweet angel of mercy, Mrs. Giles. I'm not really Mrs. Giles. You know? No. Mr. Giles won me from a saloon keeper in, in a poker game. I just thought you might be interested in knowing that. Now, drink your soup. Ready? Oh, 
Now, let's say we uh, raise the ante, Mr. Tanner. You mean uh, play for more money? It's a general idea. Well, if you really want to, Mr. Giles. Jared. Good evening, Mrs. Barkley. I didn't hear you ride up. How did everything go in Sacramento? Once again, I must modestly admit that my brilliance as a barrister saved the Barkley family from total destruction. Total destruction? Well, maybe just a minor annoyance. Pete's still on Roundup? Mm-hmm. How's Nick? He's gone. What do you mean, gone? Gone where? After the cat. He went after that cat? Mm-hmm. When? Shortly after you left for Sacramento. Well, why didn't you try and stop him? I didn't see him go. Well, then how do you know he went after the cat? Because I know. Well, at least you could have done it, sent somebody after him. It wouldn't have done any good, I'm sure. He's with Tanner. The devil has gotten into him anyway. What suddenly is so almighty important about hunting down a cat? What was so important when you went out to ride lightning during the middle of winter last year? Well, what's that got to do with this? He doesn't see the comparison. Well, that's odd. I see it very clearly. You wanted to break the horse. Instead, the horse broke your leg. Well, then. So at midnight, with your leg in splints, you sneak out of the house and climb on the poor animal's back. Maybe I was just trying to prove that I... And maybe I see the comparison after all. We'll just have to wait until he gets back. We'll just have to wait. Keep staring at me. Sorry. I keep getting the feeling that maybe we've met before. We haven't. I don't usually forget a face. You never forgot mine. Because you never saw it before. This is my hand, Tanner. This time, I got you beat. Well now, Mr. Giles. I've got your money. Your horse, your saddle, your cabin. I'll bet you 200. But you haven't got 200. I'm good for it. Sorry, Mr. Giles, I never play on credit. However, it wouldn't seem fair not to give you a chance to recoup. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll call your 200 against your wife. If the lady is agreeable, well, if you're sure you've got him beat. All right. All right. Three aces. 
I have three queens. And two nines. Oh, you, you stinking. You cheated me. Mr. Giles, what makes you say that? You made me think you didn't know much about poker. No, Mr. Giles, I never said I didn't know poker. I just didn't say how much. Even though you are a very poor loser, I'm going to be very kind to you. I'm going to let you go over there and get that horse. Just the horse. Because I'm going to keep the saddle. And I'm going to let you ride out of here, all right? All right. <laughs> 